This afternoon we're going to talk about red flowering currant, also known as Ribes sanguineum. Uh, Ribes is part of the gooseberry or the currant family, and this is a currant, which means it's unarmed. So the shrub is very erect in form, but it doesn't have any spines or thorns on it, unlike the Ribes that are gooseberries. So red flowering currant um, occurs in low to middle elevation forests, um, usually in open areas with sunlight, um, uh, clearings, or uh, along sort of wetter areas, but or drier rocky outcrops. It's common um, in gardens, it's been adapted as a, as a plant that you can purchase from a horticultural perspective. And, and the leaves are alternate, it's not as evident here on this specimen, but they're alternate on the stem. And the way to really pick up on whether this is a uh, this is a current is that it's five lobed so one two three four five the top side of the leaf is glaucous that means that it's uh, has no hairs and the underside of it um, has this fuzz, fuzzy sort of white color to it little fine hairs but what's so distinctive about this current is the flowers and the name sanguineum is Saint in French or blood, so it go, comes from anywhere from a pale pink to really bright pink, uh, fuchsias, even almost red. Many flowers um, in a cluster with five petals each, and the flowers are on these little pedicels here. So they're like raised on the little pedicel. And later, once it turns to a berry, it'll be black, uh, dark blue color, and apparently they're not very palatable or desirable to eat. So once again, this is red flowering currant, also known as Ribes sanguineum.